Hi everyone. So this one's going to be a short one. I just kind of want to share three things that I think if you're a baker who hasn't started or you're a baker who wants to get serious in the Kenyan baking industry in 2024, I just want to share three things that I am very, I'm going to be very conscious of. And I think that you should be conscious of, especially for those people who are new or you're a home baker looking to start a bakery shop, anything like that. I think this is just going to be the reality. Now, this is coming from the fact that, um, I have been in the baking industry, the Kenyan baking industry for the last 10 years. I started a business in 2012. At one point I did stop and fail for a bit and then restarted in 2015. My baking business is called Baking with Amari, where we focus on selling recipe books and we teach people how to bake both practical classes and online classes. Now I do have another bakery brand that's called Chiffon Cakes by Amari. It is a bespoke brand where we sell only chiffon cakes. So this is coming from basically looking at how business works the last decade in Kenya, especially for home bakers and small bakery shop owners. All right. So here are the three things that I think that um, people really do need to be aware of. Even for those of you who've been in the industry, you know that you're definitely, uh, you know, this is definitely something to think about. So the number one thing, especially if you're new, that you definitely need to be very aware of is that currently, because the baking industry does have a very low like it's easy, it's kind of easy to get into it. Especially if you have the baking skill and decoration skill, it isn't extremely hard to get into the baking industry. So because of that, and more and more people have been looking at the baking industry and thinking, wow, this is um, a money making thing. So a lot of people have started baking and they've started baking for business. As somebody who's been training people, there is definitely within the last five years has been an uptake in the interest in baking and cake decoration specifically for business, right? Whether it's a side hustle or whether it's a main hustle. So I do want to tell you guys that the market is getting more saturated. I'm based in Nairobi, Kenya. So of course, that means that there's in a metropolitan area, um, places like I'm sure Nairobi, Nakuru, Mombasa, places where, you know, they're larger um, population and more urban or metropolitan, even Yeri and Karatina, places like those. Obviously, that means that there's a whole lot of bakers, right? Nairobi has a ton of bakers. I don't think that's a bad Bad thing. I actually think it's a great thing because it means there's competition. And these days people are more willing to pay higher or to pay for cake. And they realize that it is, you know, a good product. But the thing about a saturated market, especially now, right, um, between 2023 and 2024, when the economy has slowed down, it's going to be a little tricky because there's going to be a lot of bakers and our consumers are, you know, looking at their budgets and cake is still a luxury. So it's going to be one of those things where it's going to be harder to convince people. Now, what does this mean? I think that when you're in a saturated market, it forces people who are doing business to do something specific. Pick a niche, get clear. Now, this is my favorite thing to talk about, but it is the truth. You need to figure out what segment of the industry you're in, and then you need to build a brand and products around that segment and be known for that. And then you need to perfect and get better at what you're doing. As somebody who's been in the baking industry and failed multiple times, one of the things that I realized is when I focus and I get clear on what I'm selling, whether they're services or products, and specifically which clients am I targeting, that's when I have the most success. So you definitely need to get uh, pick a niche, figure out who your target market is, and then offer them an amazing product and then keep them coming back, especially for bakers. You need people who keep coming back. So because it's a saturated market, you have to get clear and you have to stand out because it's a lot of bakers. So you've got to figure out how to stand out. And the only way to stand out effectively is to have a niche and a specific target market that you're talking to. Now, I have a couple of videos and I'm going to link at the bottom in this channel on niche, how to pick a niche, different types of niche there are. I mean, I cover this in, in, in even our online class, our six month online class for anybody who's looking to start a home baking business. But basically you need to make sure that you pick a niche, pick a specific set of products you're selling in the niche segment that you've chosen that's profitable. And then you need to sell to your clients. So the truth about 2024, you have 
to figure out how to stand out in a saturated market. So that's just one thing that I'm going to be doing and I hope you're going to be doing too. Second thing that I'm going to be very aware of in 2024 and you need to be too is that your clients are on a budget. Again, between now 2022, 23 to 24, people are going through this just a general slowness in the economy. There's risk. I mean, there's lots of debate on whether it's a recession or not, but I'm pretty sure we're we're going through a recession, right? So you need to realize your clients are also going through a recession and cake is actually a luxury. So if cakes, cake is a luxury, maybe people are not going to be buying cake like they used to before. And if that's the case, if you're a baker, what do you need to do about that? So one of the things that I think is going to be major for bakers is that one, you're going to have to have a really good marketing strategy and a marketing plan. And I know that especially home bakers and small bakery shop owners, people just love posting and hope they get clients. But I think for the first time, especially now, because before it's a little easier, people were spending money. Now they're not. So you're going to have to be deliberate and consistent. I know bakers who will do well, then they stop being consistent. Then they're like, oh, I don't understand what's happening. When I go check their Instagram pages and their Facebook pages, the last time they posted was eight months ago. If you have no marketing plan, it is very hard to increase sales in your business. You have to consistently every week, every month, every year, build awareness for your business and then get people to buy. And that is an activity that is ongoing. That doesn't happen once in a month and that's it, right? Whether you, you are looking at walk-in people or you're an online bakery, it doesn't matter. You have to keep marketing, whether it's offline or online. So you have to actually have this particular year is going to force bakers to actually get clear on having a marketing plan and a marketing budget and a sales plan or a strategy. And for those who don't, unfortunately, your business might not make it to the end of 2024. I am doing the same. I'm going hard on my marketing strategy, uh, checking out how we're marketing, tweaking every month to make sure that we're reaching the targets that we need to reach because sometimes we're not reaching the targets we need to reach per month. And we're, we're still marketing. So I have to sit down and go like, what are we doing that we need to stop doing? Or what are we doing that we need to tweak and get better at it? So you need to figure out that your clients now are on a budget, which means that you have to market more efficiently and more effectively to actually increase sales in your business. So that's the second thing that I think that people should really check out for, for, for 24. Now, the third thing that's going to be extremely important, and this is particularly to Kenyan bakers. Small bakery shop owners, home bakers, a lot of bakers, right? And this was me previously, like way before, were very um, vague and in a gray area when it comes to legal and tax compliance. As we all know, a lot of things have changed within the last year, right? 2023 and going on to 2024. And the legal system, right? And the tax system is becoming more they are getting more motivated to collect the taxes. They're very motivated to make sure you're running your business correctly. And these days, it is very hard to hide, guys. So what I would tell you is just be compliant. Figure out how you need to be legally compliant. Figure out how you need to be tax compliant. I did a video previously. Please check it out. It's linked on exactly what you need to do. To, or what you need, especially if you have a small bakery shop, I would suggest the same for a home bakery and what you need to find out if you want to be legally compliant. And if you're in Kenya, you just need to go to kra.go.ke or visit the KRA Times Tower if you're in Nairobi and just get the information, right? We're usually very scared of doing stuff like that, but um, there's somebody I talked to who, who I greatly respect and, and you know, he was just like, you know what? Just go to the KRA place and talk to them, you know? And I thought this makes sense and, and, and that's it, you know? And so please realize that people are going to be totally, you, you will have to actually be legally compliant is what I'm saying in 2024 Kenyan bakers. So what's my opinion? What I decided to do is to be legally compliant and tax compliant. What I decided to do is to make sure that I get clear on my market and the target clients that I have in this saturated market. And what I decided to do is to make sure that I have very good offers. I'm offering quality products and services to a specific client. And I have a very specific marketing strategy and plan that I will keep checking every month and tweaking and improving 
so that I can get or hit the sales goal that I need to hit because it's becoming a little harder to do that in this economy, right? So I hope this has helped you guys. Do comment below what you think. This is a lot of my opinion of what I think of 2024 uh, and uh, the baking industry, especially specifically in Kenya. Do comment below. Let me know what you think. Make sure you like and subscribe. Do check out other videos in this channel. Um, after this video, make sure to watch the next video. But do let me know what do you think. Do you have anything you're going to add on to what I think we should focus on? Or do you think there is something else I'm missing? Please do comment below. I hope this helps you guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye.